people walked up to me and said, I've read this thing, I understand much more about it than, than I did the last time. I voted no on the last occasion and I'm going to vote yes on this occasion. And when I look at all of, all of the leaders, for instance, in the farmers' debate on the last occasion, there was clear confusion between the antics of former Commissioner Mandelson and the WTO talks which were taking place and Lisbon. And there were conflicting messages sent out. I'm very glad that the leaders, that the leaders of so many organisations and business in this country have sent out a message saying we've assessed this and we would ask our supporters and our members to vote yes. I was glad to see David Begg yesterday reiterating that posters that depicted the minimum wage at, at 184 after Lisbon are completely false and have no basis in law or in fact. I was glad to see the bishops speak out in respect of the right of Catholics to be able to vote for this treaty without any implications for their ethics or for their standards or for their religious beliefs. And I was glad to see so many people involved in business who employ people in Ireland saying, look, we want you to send out the right message that we can continue to make this country attractive for investment, where job opportunities can be created and where work can be created. That's the answer to many of our problems. 400,000 out of work, we've got to get back to a point where we make ourselves cost competitive here and where we can avail of the market opportunities in Europe and subsequently. So I do hope that the members of those organisations and business organisations around the country take heed of what their leadership has said, that people will follow that lead and give a yes on this occasion. It's